Hi everyone! Today I wanted to talk about art block, possible reasons why you have art block, and maybe possible solutions to get rid of art block. Art block is a horrible thing. If you don't know what art block is, it basically boils down to your inability to create something because what I like to call as a funk, or you're just not feeling it. So I wanted to talk about three possible reasons why you might be in a art block and three possible ways to fix it. So here we go. Whenever I get art block, there are three things that I usually notice about them. The first reason is I am just feeling mentally and physically drained. There have been times in my life where I work 40 to 60 hours a week and when I come home, there is nothing I want to do less than draw. Even on my one day off, I do not want to draw. I do not want to do anything but just veg out and watch TV. I know a lot of artists will tell you that if you want to become successful that you just have to push through it. And while I do agree, I think it's very stressful to have to work these mentally draining jobs that you do not enjoy for 60 hours a week and then come home and push yourself and not have any relaxing moments at all. It's hard and you just have to push through it, but I think in the end you need to find what you want to focus on in life. If you have to push through those really hard, stressful moments, then I guess you just have to push through them and there's no way around it. But this is the cause of your art block. The second reason for art block that I might have is your emotional state. Recently, when I moved to Canada, I was feeling very stressed and there was nothing more that I wanted to do than draw, but I had a lot on my mind. I didn't have a job. I just left all of my family in another country and I was starting my life completely over. I was really excited, but I was also really stressed to the point where I just wanted to veg out and play video games for a while. I hated how uncreative I was being, but I think I just needed time to kind of settle into my new life and then I was ready to go. The third thing I noticed that really affects my creativity is my environment. Going back to when I moved to Canada, I didn't have a desk, I had no workspace, and I really felt unorganized. I'm a really clean and, I guess, organized person, so if I have a messy workspace or things just aren't put together, then I have a really hard time working on projects. The messier my workspace is, the more cluttered my mind is and I have a hard time focusing on something. So maybe look around your workspace, see if it needs to be straightened up. If you like to work in a messy area, that's totally cool too. It just depends from person to person. But this is something that I've noticed actually hurts my creativity and it can lead to art block. So what are some things you can do to fix art block? There's no guarantee to fixing art block, but there are three things that I've noticed that can kind of help me with it. My main go-to when having art block is taking a break. This doesn't mean completely stop creating anything at all. Sometimes I like to take a break by going to another hobby like sewing, or sometimes I just like to play some video games for a couple of days. For the most part, I think you just need a break from drawing. Your creativity is drained and you don't have an unlimited supply of energy towards any one activity, I don't think, and I think it's really important to take breaks. I don't think there's anything wrong with needing to take a break from something that you can call your passion. A lot of artists have their own opinion about this, but I think everyone needs to stop being so critical and just do what's best for you. My second bit of advice is making a schedule. Personally, I have not hit an art block since I created a YouTube channel. Aside from the bit where I moved, since I've started posting prompts every week and a variety of other videos, I have not hit a stunt where I just could not get myself to create. I've mentioned in the past where my motivation is to not fail, and if I create a schedule for myself, I am determined to not fail and I will meet those deadlines. I guess if you stick around on my YouTube channel long enough, I will eventually hit an art block. I don't know. I guess you'll just have to see. But I really do highly recommend giving yourself a drawing schedule and it has really helped me to keep creative. And the last piece of advice, which I think I have in every tip video aside from patience, is to just do it. You just have to push yourself to draw and you have to have no excuses, even though I just gave you all of these excuses. At the end of the day, you just have to push yourself to draw. 
If you don't know what to draw, you can use prompts. It's better to just draw anything than nothing at all. Just default to your usual thing that you always draw and don't worry about drawing something new. As long as you're creating something, it's better than nothing. Even if you don't think it's turning out to be your best masterpiece, it's better to be getting some kind of practice and just doing it. You just gotta do it. Go on, just, just, just do it. Just do it. I know, I know art block is really hard. I've been there but it's something that you're just going to have to push through or wait to pass. I wish the best of luck to all of you who are going through art block and I hope these tips maybe helped you figure out why you have art block or something that can help you through art block. Thanks for watching. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next video. Bye.